Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous. I'm your host, Nikki Bacherl D'Angelo. We are officially in limbo between IAE and the release of Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. Because Alpha 4.0 wipes everything that has to do with the economy, it means everything that we do between now and when 4.0 is finally stable is going to have no effect on our reputation, our wealth, or our gaining ships in the game. Everything we get between here and then is going to be wiped. So what do you do? I know it's hard. We get into these certain game loops that are just fun. For the longest time for me, it was bunker missions and the occupation missions and the boarding missions. It's, it's a starship game, but I was really tying myself to the FPS aspects of Star Citizen. I thought that Cargo hauling was too tedious, and I thought that mining was too time-consuming and had too many steps, especially with having to refine. And also, the risk versus reward with Quantanium, while it was exhilarating, it could also ruin your day. Back in the day. But all those things have been fleshed out, and they've been made a little bit more interesting. Now, for Star Citizen to exist... There has to be tedium. Boxes have to be run. Small, medium, and large cargo hauls have to be completed. Ships have to be salvaged, and ships have to be towed. And in the future, when base building, manufacturing, farming, and animal raising is actually added into the game, there'll be more tedium. And I call it tedium, but it's a pet name. I like tedium in my games. I like things that make me feel like I'm accomplishing something. Much of what we'll be doing in the game is to solve certain issues that might come up in the economy. When we need a lot more ships to be built, there's going to be a lot more cargo running and mining and salvaging missions to be able to get the resources for that. When somebody comes under fire in a certain system, there may be a lot of missions that are generated for military missions like Escort or Search and Destroy. So while those of us that have been playing the game for the better part of a decade or in and out of it in that period have found the things that we like to do, this is the time that we should challenge that because these other missions are going to have to get done. And sometimes when you do the same thing over and over and over again, things get boring. So I'm looking to have as many different things in the verse that I do to always expand. And this is why I finally broke down, rented and then purchased a Vulcan. I'm pretty addicted to Star Citizen, which is why I separate myself from it for long periods of time, I think. And it's also because of frustrations with the game from time to time. But I've gone over the top and I actually have three characters. Batgirl is the one everyone knows from my Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous videos. Cosmic Cat is most of my in-organization, zero-to-hero type stuff, but it's who I'm going to be using for most of the enablers, military, and economic actions that we do. And then there's Arena. Arena is my experimental character. I'll go into caves and hand mine. I'll throw a rock in the back of her nomad and go out and rock mine. And then I started hauling on her and earned a hull A. And that's where I'm at right now. So we're going to start from scratch again once 4.0 goes. But I like finding the different things that I've never done before. And I always try them on her. So I rented the Vulcan on her, on her account, and then liked it so much I actually played with a couple of CCUs to take a useless fighter ship, an arrow, and turn it into one of my favorite ships today, the Vulcan. But while I'm super new to salvaging, I'm finding that there are so many more game loops in the game that I find fun and rewarding. So there are certain things about IAE that absolutely you have to open your mind to, and that sometimes you walk the hall and for me, it's trying to gather information to tell you all, right? This is what's happening in the verse. This is what the ship is good for. This is what I like about it. This is its characteristics, whatever, right? But I also 
try to turn that inward, try to, I don't know, debate myself over what I'm doing and what I could be doing in the game. So it was a very short walk to the kiosk to say, all right, let me try this. And that was during the best in show day. And I took the Vulcan and said, all right, I'm going to go back with Arena. I'm going to rent this and I'm going to go out and do this game loop for, I don't know, one or two times. The part of the game loop I'm involved in right now is paying for claims, but I know that there's more lucrative ways of salvaging. And one of those would be just finding a Hulk that's floating in space somewhere and salvaging that. But I haven't done that yet, so I'm sure the actual money, the UEC that you can make from salvaging is way higher than what I did here. But I had a good time, and that's what I'm trying to convey to you. So 4.0 is coming at us like a freight train, and I do not expect it to be very stable when it comes out. I expect that this is going to be better than 1.18, but just. There's a lot that's going into 4.0. There's a whole new star system. There is server meshing. There is a new economy. Again, we're going to say that over and over again, and these things are going to have to be tweaked. And then there's the virus that affects all of the elevators everywhere. It happened during IAE, and it's happening during 4.0. There's falling through the world on different planets. There's frame rate issues on certain space stations. There's going to be things that are going to be driving you crazy in 4.0 that might keep you from playing or being able to play as much to be able to gain all that wealth that you either envision yourself having or have had in the past. And remember, wealth may be easy to gain in Star Citizen, but it's the reputation you have to work at. And reputation gives you better missions and better payouts. So while I went out and salvaged a bunch, I'm not going to force you to sit here and watch how absolutely mind-numbingly boring it could be to watch. I could guarantee you this, it is more fun than what you would see here. I'm going to be streaming in the future again. It's probably not going to happen until after Christmas due to my schedule. But I think that this is one of those game loops I will surely stream so I could interact with most of you that will be there. But I'm also going to be doing some hauling and, of course, the tried and true, my favorite, FPS missions. So if you, like me, are wondering what to do with your time in Star Citizen when you know a wipe is coming, just do something different. We know how much we love what we do, but there's so many things that people do that we might not have any clue if we're going to enjoy it or not until we do it. Medical gameplay. Not really in the game, but kind of, sort of where you can go and rescue someone that's been downed. That might be something to absolutely try while you could still rent what is supposed to be the best military ambulance in the game, which is the Terrapin Medic. Or maybe, just maybe, what you really, really, really want to do is to go out and bounty hunt. So rent a nice ship to go out and bounty hunt, but that is not a complete loop yet. We still don't have ways to keep those prisoners locked up, but it might be fun. And until death of a spaceship becomes disabling a spaceship, that bounty hunting is a lot harder than what it will be in the future. Now, I know we have a little bit more of disabling ships than we did before, but more often than not, when you get there, and you try to see who was in the ship that you were going after, there was no crew there to begin with. So kind of weird, right? Kind of strange, but still different. Oh, here's one of those boxes that just magically appear out of nowhere when you do all of this salvaging. It's kind of fun. All right, let's see if we can pull it out with destroying my ship. Anyway, 4.0 coming. Find things to do. Make use of the next three days. Rent ships and have fun. It is now Wednesday morning, so you have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Rent, have fun. I'm going to say it one last time. Rent, have fun. Short video filled with my opinions, and of course my opinions are only right for one person in this world, me. But I hope you take from my experience 
learn something and go out and find something that you want to do in the verse. Whether you're new or old, trying new things inside of the verse is always going to show you other things that you might enjoy. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button below because it will really help the visibility of my videos. And if you are a subscriber or have recently subscribed, please click that bell shaped icon below so you get notified of all my future videos. And if you are new, be sure to use that referral code in the video description below to get 5000 UEC and perhaps something cool. And with that said, you all be safe out there and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. To subscribe to the channel, click on the button on the upper left. To help support the channel by going to Patreon, click on the button on the upper right. To see my most recent video, click on the video to the left. And to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like, click on the video to the right.